In this tutorial, we are going to talk about exporting your Revit design as a 3D PDF file so that you would be able to view it in Acrobat Reader. We have Revit's sample house design here. As you can see, it has basic materials applied to it. In the project browser panel in Revit, you will also see different scenes and cameras created. Click on Add-ins. A few options will appear under the SimLab PDF Exporter section. You can export the file as a PDF document. Merge multiple PDF files into one or embed the PDF file in an HTML document. Click on PDF Settings. In the first tab in the settings, you can choose a design template for the PDF file. There is a big collection of templates with different themes to choose from. You can also choose to create a new template or edit one. In the Page tab, you can select an audio file to play while you are showing the PDF file. Click Browse to select the file from your computer and decide whether you want the file to play in a loop by selecting Repeat. You can also protect your PDF file with a password that will be required to be typed upon opening the file. In the 3D tab, you can toggle the 3D toolbar on and off. You can also open the model tree to view the components. Show world axes will display the X, Y, and Z axes in the PDF file. Disable selection will restrict the ability of selecting the components in the 3D area. Navigation mode sets the initial state of your camera. It is preferable to set it to spin when viewing an architectural design. Default render mode will set which render mode to have when you open the PDF file. The same goes for the default light type. The default navigation system in 3D PDF tends to focus on one part. For large scenes with different parts, SimLab Smart Navigation is recommended. It tends to update the camera center of rotation according to the part the user is looking at. Artistic arrows will allow you to cycle through your Revit cameras using only two buttons, while numbered buttons will display a button for each camera you have. Automatic transition will automatically navigate your scenes. You can set the duration for how long each scene is to be displayed, and also the duration of the camera movement between the scenes. Preview image allows you to select an image to display as a thumbnail for the file. The last tab in the PDF settings window is the advanced settings. There, you can add a JavaScript to run with your PDF file or a 3D JavaScript. You can protect the design and disable measurements. Preserve Images Original Resolution will not compress any images with the PDF file and keep the original file size and whether to display in full screen mode or not. You can export the measurements and any text annotations you have in Revit along with the model. Export Polylines exports the non-geometrical objects in your scene, such as lines, curves, or arches. Exporting BIM objects properties will display any descriptions attached to the components of your scene in the 3D PDF files. Reflection Blend Mode controls the mathematical approach to display reflections. Select the language to be used and whether to open the PDF document after exporting it or not. Click on Export File. A message will appear notifying you Revit will use raster printing instead of vector printing, which is needed for Acrobat Reader to be able to read the file. Click Close. The Scene Manager window will pop up. In this window, you can pick which cameras and scenes to export along with the model. You have the ability to merge all the 3D scenes into one and extract the camera information from each scene separately. So instead of having several 3D scenes with independent data for each, and a camera in each scene, you will combine them into a single 3D model with multiple cameras. 
This is a great way to optimize your file size and to handle camera views easily. Click Merge 3D Scenes into Selected Scene. Click on the Cameras tab and notice that SimLab PDF Exporter has created a camera for each scene we merged and retain the name of that scene. Select the cameras you need to export and rename them. Going back to the Scenes tab, you can see that the 3D PDF Exporter can also export your 2D designs. Similarly, select which scenes to export and click OK. Name the file and click Save. The 3D PDF file will open after being saved, and now you can view it without using your design software. Click on the arrows at the bottom to switch between the cameras you have exported from Revit. The 3D toolbar helps you with navigating and viewing your design. The navigation tool can be set to rotate or spin. The spin navigation tool will lock the vertical rotation, which would be convenient for viewing an architectural design. You can set it to pan to change the position of the camera, allowing you to change the camera's point of interest. Or zoom to zoom in and out of your model. A few other options that you can explore are fly mode, showing the camera's properties, and a 3D measuring tool. The Views drop-down menu will display any cameras or scenes you have created and exported from Revit along with the model. Selecting any scene will move the camera smoothly from the current scene to the one you selected. Toggle Model Tree will display a list of all the components in your scene. It will also display the camera scenes. Click any component to select it and click on the check mark next to the component's name to hide it or show it. You can also switch between orthographic view and perspective view. In this list, you will find several viewing modes. Experiment with them and see which would help your presentation more. The light menu controls the light in your scene, changing the mood and colors used to light your scene. The last option will toggle the cross-sections you have in your Revit design. Go to PDF Settings. Go back to the Template tab. Select one and click Edit. This will open SimLab Template Designer, where you can edit a template or create a new one. Double-click on the text to edit it. In the text editor, replace the text with the name you want. Click OK to apply the change. You can edit any text in the template using the same method to customize it for your Revit model presentation. Create a new text by clicking the text button on the toolbar. Type the name you want. Select the font to use from the drop-down menu. Set the font size and the color as well. Then press OK. Place the text by clicking and dragging it to the position you want. Close this template. And click on New to create a template from scratch. In the Page Size window, you can select a size preset from the drop-down menu or set the size manually. Change the page's view from Portrait, which is oriented vertically to Landscape. Set the width and height of the document in pixels or in length units. In this sample, I will set the width to 1856 and the height to 978, which are the dimensions of the image that I will use as a background for this template. Click OK to generate an empty file with the size you've set. If you click on the empty background, the properties for the background will be displayed to the left. Select Single Color to change the color of the background to a solid color. 
Linear Gradient will create a gradient of multiple colors that you pick. Or you can select Image to browse your files and pick an image to display as the template's background. This is an image I created using Photoshop. It has a simple outline for how the template should be arranged. Click on 3D Area and click again on the template to place the 3D area. Click and drag the 3D area to accurately position it where you need it to be. Use the red draggers to change the size and shape of the 3D area. Next is placing buttons to navigate the cameras that we have in Revit. Click on Text to add a text to the template. We will name it Default View. Increase the size and change the font to your liking. In the Properties panel to the left, you can select any type of action to take when the default view is clicked. None would disable the button. URL will open a website link. Message box will create a text box upon clicking the button. You can control the animation, the scenes, or run a JavaScript. Change the type to Scene State, which is the option for controlling Revit's cameras. You have the choice to call the scene by its number or by its name. Select by name and set it to 3D, which is the name we assign to the default camera view in Revit. Now it is set, but it doesn't look very appealing, so I will add a button shape instead of just a text on the background. Click the image icon and click on the template where you need to place the image. I will choose an image that resembles a sketchy button and place it correctly. As you can see, it has been placed above the text, while in this case, we need it to be below the text. Right-click on the newly added button and select Send to Back. Add another button, place it below the default view button, and a third one, and place it beneath them. Add a text and name it Yard, then place it on the second button. You can also press Ctrl and C on your keyboard to copy it, and then Ctrl and V to paste it. It's a faster way to duplicate objects in the SimLab template designer. Place it on the third button and double-click it to edit the text. Let's name this Kitchen. Another thing to consider is, if we have the default view text connected to a scene, it would mean that we have to press on the letters in this word to trigger the function. So what we will do is remove the function from the text perspective and add it to the image of the button. This way, clicking anywhere on the button would trigger the scene function. Click the second button, set the type to Scene States and type the name Yard as named in Revit. The same goes for the third button. Now all the buttons are connected to the cameras we have in Revit. Add a website link to the template by creating a text. Type the caption of that text. It doesn't have to be a website link, just any caption will do. Click OK and place it in your template. Change the type to URL and here you are required to put a web address. I will add a title banner to this template or you can simply just create a text instead of adding a design banner. With everything done, go to File and click Save or Save As. I will name it Revit Template and click Save. Close the SimLab Template Designer and go back to SketchUp. Click Refresh to add the recently created template. Select the new template and click Save. Click on Export File. Merge the 3D scenes and go to the Camera tab and make sure that the name of the cameras match the one we added as a function in the Template Editor. So I will name them 3D, Yard, and Kitchen. 
Unselect the cameras that you don't need to export and click OK. Type a name for the file and click Save. The 3D PDF exporter, combined with SimLab Template Designer, makes for a great tool to professionally present your Revit design and easily customize your demonstration.